Hi everybody, are you at home? My name is Naomi, Naomi She Have Nine, and I'd like to share my new book, Cast Away, Poems for Our Times, with you. I'm speaking from my home in San Antonio, Texas. I'd like to thank Matt Roser for this really nice cover of my book, which looks like trash scattered across the streets. On the back of my book is a very tiny poem called Nothing. And there's a mitten in the picture that has the word heroes stitched into the back of it. I really found this mitten on King William Street, a few blocks from our house. And the poem I wrote, thinking about it, is this. Nothing a child ever does is trash. It is practice. I've been interested in trash for a long time in my life. When I was a child, the anti-littering laws took effect in the United States. People were told it was not a good idea to throw your trash on the ground. You could get in trouble for it. You could even get a fine for it. So I made it my hobby as I was growing up to pick up trash in different places where I lived or where I walked and traveled. Um, it doesn't take much equipment to pick up trash. It's really a clean little habit, although it sounds as if it might not be. All you need is a glove to wear on your pickup hand and a little tongs, which you can get somewhere, like a salad store, and a trash bag. It could also be a paper bag, any kind of bag. And this equipment will be your trash pickup kit. Uh, usually, I like to go out, walk around the neighborhood, see what I find, and I always find a lot. I find too much. But it's a great feeling when you pick up trash. It's like you're cleaning up your place. Um, we can't save the world all by ourselves, but we can pick up a little bit of trash and make our own blocks or areas or parks where we play or playgrounds look a little better. It's not hard to do um, and I urge you to think about doing it someday when we're allowed to go out of our houses and walk around together again. So I'd like to read you a few poems from Castaway. Uh, the first one is about a place where there isn't any trash. It's walking in a forest in California. Pine cones. In a California redwood forest, breath feels bigger than all people, a note older than our ancestors, memories stirred by rustling. We will survive. Hold a little beauty during difficult times. Quiet feels round as a planet. Surely a bigger quiet holds us all here is the queen of the pine cones standing right against her own tree, full pride. It's fine not to know how to solve everything. It's still a room to sit in. And here's a little poem, a fourth part of a poem about a trash walk I took with our son when he was little. He used to try to make a story out of all the pieces of trash he found. He would dump them out on the grass when we got back and talk about how they were connected and then pick them up again and throw them away. A boy took the bits of trash he found on a walk and dumped them in the yard, arranging them as one family story. First, the man lost his sandpaper. His baby was sucking on a blue pacifier, which is kind of like a baby's cigarette. But the baby lost it when they crossed the street and cried very hard. The mom was eating a fried cherry pie. The little girl lost her spelling homework with dust and trust on it. And here it is, see? Too bad, she was a good speller. They all dropped their bus transfers in a big wind and read this torn up newspaper to find out what to do next. We have no idea. Sometimes to imagine the person who dropped
the trash you're picking up, is an interesting community style endeavor. It makes you feel connected to people you may never know. But right now, when we're all stuck in our houses or apartments or rooms, here's another thing you could do with trash. Um, find some of the things you're throwing away right now. Um, old papers out of your drawer, off your desk. I found a magazine that I was done with, and out of it I cut some nice pictures that I could make greeting cards out of, or collages. Um, here's a picture of a deer standing in a field. Here are some flowers in buckets. Here are some fancy flowers, like at a wedding. Here's somebody's very pink mouth. Um, here are some beautiful trees. Here's the wide horizon of the state of Texas. Here are some cows running cattle with cowboys on horses um, riding alongside them. All kinds of pictures in a magazine that could be recycled, reused. You could come up with all the greeting cards you need for the next year to send to your friends and your family while we're all under quarantine together. Um, trash is an inevitable thing. That means we all have it to some degree or another. But how we look at it, how we think about it, um, that's what's interesting. And what we do with it when it's our own trash when we're staying at home. I hope we'll all be released from our homes soon and be able to go on a long trash walk together. But have fun with it. It's free and it's yours.